Hi, educators. I'm really excited to share with you what we've created. So we've created for you, we have created a whole follow along course for your internship program for so that your students can study and learn uh, for the RD exam and also just have this knowledge for their internship as they go along makes it a lot easier. No more boring textbooks at the end. Our student students are more visual learners, more interactive learners. So I'm going to walk you through it really quick um, and uh, we can always do uh, more thorough walkthroughs later. So for example, um, tons and tons of topics you've got, we're still growing and developing, mind you, but we have vitamins and minerals. We have a whole bunch of disease states, nutrition support, medication, prescription medications, behavioral changes, management, food service, all sorts of stuff, research. Uh, so, for example, I'm just going to show you what a page looks like and how it kind of works. You on your end will have a grade book and you'll have a you'll have access to be able to see in the all access annual partnership to be able to see your students pro uh, progress to know if they completed their units. You'll also be able to see grades of any quizzes that we add to your system here. We can, it's fully customizable. So we can add quizzes, flashcards, anything that you want to add. Maybe you have a video of your, something that you've taught that you want to add in here and make sure that they watch it. Uh, so we can add those in. Okay, so for example, I'll just pop on one, um, like types of insulin, that's a fun one. So all of these have interactive, engaging videos that put you in a real life situation. So for example, types of insulin, is about a child who gets diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Uh, it's fun. It's here, I'll just kind of scroll through the little square. It's to help glucose get. So it talks about the science behind it. About 18 to 24. It talks about um, like the different types of insulin. And, it's used less um, than hours. And if you complained, and it's put in a situation. So you remember it. Oh yeah, it's that kid and, and we have names and everything assigned. So there's key items to remember at the end of every video. And this is also typed out at the bottom. So this one has a fun chart as well so that the students can learn and practice as they go. Once they've completed the unit, uh, this one I guess is completed, but there's a little button that says complete the unit. and. Um, and then so that way you know that they've completed it too. So I'm going to go back to course really quick and I'll show you a calculation. We have a whole bunch that are calculation walkthroughs as well. We'll do, um, let's see. Oh, here. Continuous enteral tube feeding calculations. This is one about an enteral tube feeding. <laughs> Delightful topic. So they download a calculation worksheet. They click here and we have this whole worksheet that follows along with the video. We make the videos fun. We put it in real life situations again. So it's about a person who is in the hospital. Your patient, you might want so to write have an down. actual wanna... patient with situations and they follow along and calculate this patient's tube feeding here and then we give them all the conversions and information and then um, they this is where you see they can mark as completed and then on your end you'll see that they completed the unit. Again, we have um, flashcards and and um, quizzes as well. So there's so th I just wanted to give you a brief overview of what an interactive course looks like for you to follow along with your students in the internship. This is for the all access annual partnership. And then, so you sign up for that. The students sign up for one month, three months, probably three months or a year. So the a year is probably the most ideal. And then you guys, we connect you to, and then they do this during their internship. Um, so anyway, reach out with any questions. I'm here to help. I'm here to support. And we're here to make learning fun. <laughs> Thanks.